Was the hangover worth it? If it wasn't, watch this video. I, get my comeback. I don't know if you get hangovers or not, but I did. And let me tell you about the hangover. Like it wasn't just a one day hangover. It was like months on end. Why was it months on end? Because I continued to make this choice. I continued to go consistently. Like I was so afraid of it. Like uh, afraid of the withdrawals, afraid of uh, feeling like crap, afraid of the shame, the guilt, the pain that I sat in, that I want to continuously hide and continue to drink and drink and drink and drink. So I don't know if you get hangovers, but I can talk about my journey and my situation. I did, and I felt like crap over and over and over because I was fearful of it, because I didn't want to face it. I will continue to do that until eventually it turned into a three, six, or nine month bender that I couldn't get out of. Well, my life went completely upside down. The businesses were lost, my friendships were lost, my freedom of myself, right? Like the, the mind control, the discipline, everything in my life destroyed by my own hand because I was afraid of a hangover. And sure, there was a multitude of reasons, a multitude of things that caused me to continuously drink. But on the surface level, something you, are, you may be dealing with right now or may not be dealing with, I'm not sure, is a hangover. I'm fearful of getting better because I don't want to face the shakes. I don't want to face the, face the withdrawals. I don't want to feel the guilt. I don't want to feel the shame. I don't want to feel the loneliness. So I have a question that I want to present you. Is facing that pain, facing that struggle, facing that fear, is it worth it? Or is continuing to choose a hangover day in and day out, or maybe spread apart over months, is that worth it? It's just a choice. A choice that you have to decide. And I'm not here to judge you or belittle you or say that I'm better than you. I'm here to tell you that there is another way. There is another way to step out of this pit, to step out of the shame, to step into the light, and become the man that you want to be. But you got to decide to do something about it. I know it's difficult. The hangovers suck. Puking next to a toilet sucks. Having to use cocaine in my situation to stay up all day to continue this drink, continue this cycle, this alcohol induced cycle of insanity, like to continue to, continue to do that is painful. And nobody wants to face it. Nobody wants to actually do that. But here's the thing. You need to do something. So what are you going to do? There's a multitude of, of conventional, traditional styles of recovery out there. I can name some AA, NA, Celebrate Recovery. There's other new programs out there. I don't even care at this point if you sat here what you do. But I do care this. That my content, my story, what I'm putting out here right now for you leaves you better than I found you. And if that means you want to find out more about what I'm about, what this, this movement of men that's global right now is about, then I want to encourage you to go ahead and click the link and find out more. This might be the best decision you've ever made in your life. Please do something. I get my comeback. I get my comeback.